Have you ever had that moment where you get in your vehicle to go to work in the morning and it's nice and cold outside and you turn the heater on and you notice it's not blowing any heat? Well, today we're going to be talking about blower motors. Perfect. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Leverage TV, where I give you tool reviews and automotive tips just like I do in this video here. So if you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. So what I'll be doing, I'll be going through some of the troubleshooting steps to diagnose the blower motor, because I'm assuming that's what's wrong with it. And I'll show you how to check for voltage, check the wiring. First, we need to make sure that the blower motor is bad, and then we'll replace it. So let's jump under the hood. All right guys, anytime that you're trying to diagnose any kind of electrical issue on a vehicle, you wanna make sure that you have good voltage at your battery. You always wanna start with the basics. So let's see if we can see what this battery right here reads. I'll take my fluke meter here. Okay, we've got it on volts DC. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the positive to the red and the black to the negative and check and see how much voltage I have. I have 12.5 volts. Okay, so I know that my battery has good enough voltage because it's a 12 volt battery, it's a 12 volt system. Usually a battery will read a little bit over 12 volts and that's okay. So where I'm at now, I know I've got good battery voltage and I wanna go ahead and go directly to the plug that plugs into the blower motor. Now on this 97 Chevrolet Blazer, it's very easy to get to. It's right here next to the firewall. Okay guys, right here is the connector for the blower motor. Right there, uh, you can take a little screwdriver and pop that bad boy right off of there. And let's see if we can take that off and check the voltage at it. Okay guys, I've got this disconnected here and I'm gonna go ahead and turn my fluke meter back on to volts DC. Okay, she's zeroed out there. And basically I'm gonna take, it doesn't really matter which one you do, with the key off right now, the key is off, so I'm gonna go ahead and take and check it with the key off. Okay, we know that we don't have any voltage going to it, so now I'm gonna go turn the key on. Okay, I've turned the key on, and I've also turned on the blower motor switch. So now I know that it should be blowing air out of the vents right now. So let's see if we've got voltage at our connector. Okay, it looks like we've got voltage here. We've got 11.91 volts. So that tells me that this connector right here has got the proper voltage going to it from my battery. It's a little bit lower than 12 volts, but that's okay, a little bit of resistance. So that gives me a pretty good indication that this blower motor here is bad. Okay guys, here I have picked up a VDO blower motor from AutoZone. I don't usually like using AutoZone, but when it comes to parts that I can replace pretty quick, I go cheap. All right, so there is a brand new blower motor. VDO brand. Boy, I hope this was a Monday blower motor instead of a Friday blower motor. Okay, so what I'm gonna show you guys, you can do a little trick and go ahead and hook this up and see if it's gonna work. But you gotta be real careful because this thing starts off pretty quick. Uh, you can put it on the low setting and try it that way. Okay guys, I'm gonna take the blower motor and hook it up and make sure that you always hold on to this good and tight because it tends to swing pretty quick when you hook it up. So now let's see if we can't get down to that blower motor and get it out of there. We're gonna to have to remove the computer and some of this plastic lining that goes right here around the blower motor. So I'll give you a good close up and let you guys see that. Okay, so if you look close right here, 
they wrote it on the side it says for motor service cut here and it actually has an arrow pointed to this seam right here and it goes all the way over here it's gonna be hard to see this other one it says tear line so all the way along that right there you're supposed to cut along that line and that will allow you to get your blower motor out that's right here Notice the blue and the red, when you disconnect those, those go on the bottom. And the white and the black go on top. Okay, like I was saying earlier guys, this right here, this is some very dried out plastic stuff. I don't know what GM were thinking whenever they did this. But, they've got it here where you have to cut it. Okay guys, as you can see, I've got some of the, I've cut along the plastic line right here and took off that plastic stuff that they've got. And now I can get to my blower motor and there's some screws here. And I've still got some of my wires in the way. I wanna see what I gotta do to get that out of the way. But also there's this little vent tube here and you wanna make sure you pop it off from right here. There's also another layer of that plastic stuff right down here you're gonna have to get off all the way down at the bottom. So the tear line goes all the way around. Also something else I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna have to remove this coolant reservoir. By the way, I'm using a 10 millimeter socket and my snap-on impact, which I'll do a video on later. And also Friday, I'll be getting a Matco 3.8 impact, brushless impact, the new 600 foot-pound and I'll be doing a tour review on that gun as well. So. It's all about leverage, baby. Guys, always be careful when you're dealing with computer wires. Be very gentle as you can. Okay, we've got a clip down here holding on this wire loom. Boy, that was a rough clip. Now I can move my wires a little bit. Also, this clip here, you can remove it by twisting that back. How's that for a tear, GM? Okay, after getting most of the stuff that GM put around there, I've got plenty of room to get to those bolts and pull that baby out of there. I mean, look at this stuff. It's like a plastic rubbery something. Terrible idea. Okay, to fit these blower motor screws right here, you're gonna need a 730 second socket. On this bottom screw, I would probably recommend getting a wobbly for this. That'd be the easiest way to get to it. Also, a nice little trick you can do if your wobbly socket won't hold up and you want it to stay up, so it'll help you get to wherever you're trying to get to without it falling. Put a little black tape on it. And you can still, you're still able to bend it and get it where you need to, but it won't drop every time that you Hold it up. Tip of the day. Now that you've got all the screws out, you should be able just to twist this. To 
turn it a couple of times. A big gaping guys. Just to kind of give you a little bit better view, I had to cut all along this right here with my knife before I could get the motor out. And this is your duct work here. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna take outside air and bring it in and blow it through the heater core, which hot antifreeze is running through, and it's gonna bring heat through your vents. And that's the whole idea. And it's out with the old and in with the new. I'm gonna be as gentle as I can and go in with this puppy. Before you get this all the way in there, to make it easier on yourself, you wanna go ahead and put this boot on and slide it over. Then when you get that on, you wanna turn it and hook it up to your vent hose right here. and the plug goes to the top. Now I'm gonna put these five screws back in. It's basically gonna be in the reverse order that I did when I took it apart, except I'm not gonna put back that plastic junk. And guys, something to think about too, your vehicle may have a blower motor in a different location. You know, you might have to dig a little bit deeper to get to yours. Some of these newer vehicles, they like to hide them really far down deep into the dash. And you play hell trying to get to them things, man. Now that I've got it back together, I'm going to check and see and make sure we've got some good heat coming out of it. Oh, ain't that a sweet, sweet sound? If you want to, hit that like button and leave you a comment or two and make sure you subscribe. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.